Postignete. I've got a light! Shit! Da! Shit! Out! Out! Sin el Sin el
Ready to serve! Commander on board! Leading Set already! Onward! Slow the rowers! Let's go! Increase speed! Slower, now! The commander's leaving the helm!
Whack-a-mole. What's your problem? What don't I have fucking problems with? The Oracle for one, the sea for another, and don't get me started on my crew. You have business with the Oracle? You're a long way from Delphi. Had business. And my business is none of your fucking business. I ain't shopping for a merc. If anything, I need the gods. You need a god? I'm the next best thing. Oh, you're a live one. That's a good pitch. I'll give you that. So, who are you? Captain Yellon of the Shark's Tooth. Shark Tooth's your boat? Do I look like a fucking fisherman? I sail a ship, not a boat. Malaka, I came to see if you needed help. Fuck you. No one asked you to. You know what? Fuck you. <sighs> okay, sorry. Been a bad day. I finished my business with the Oracle and was meant to meet my ship here. They're nowhere to be fucking found, and I've been here since last night. So where's the shark's tooth? I wouldn't fucking be here if I knew, would I? Okay, let me rephrase. Where was the crew meant to be? Well, um... I sent my girl Yiki off. Pilgrims get stuck in the shallows around here, and, uh, we sort of help out. Oh. Your girl? Yeah. Best hand I ever had, and more. Look, find my ship and my Yiki, will you? I'll pay. I'll find out what happened and bring them back. Do you know where they could have gone? The southeastern shore is pretty rich pickings. Nice cove there to trap lost, wealthy pilgrims. You're a pirate. What if I fucking am? I'm the pirate that's paying you. Anyway, I'm not a pirate all the time. It's more of a hobby. A hobby? You sure the crew didn't mutiny and run off on you? Not with my hickey at the helm. Plus, they never got the cut from our last trip. They wouldn't leave without getting paid. Describe Giki. She's beautiful, she is. Kisses like summer. From the first time I saw her, I wanted to eat her all up. Not helpful? Okay, okay. She's raven-haired, and has a precious band on her arm that I gave her. Always wears it. I'll find them and return as soon as I can. How was Megaris? The wolf is dead. Excellent. The full amount is promised. You expected me to haggle? Come now, Alexios. It isn't every day I have someone kill their own father. But he wasn't your real father, was he? Why did you send me to kill Nikolaus? Because I knew you could. Oh, why him? Because he was brilliant. He would have taken Athens in a month, two at most. And Stendhal doesn't have the wolf's genius. Uh, 
You wanted to save Athens? There's no profit in a quick war. I know, I know. It's a lot to take in all at once. Come. Tell me, Mistheus, did you learn anything worthwhile in your dealings with the wolf? He mentioned my birth father. He might still be alive. Not for long, if all goes according to plan. What do you mean? You're going to bring me his head, of course. Have you lost your mind? You killed the man who raised you for Drachmi. I merely assumed you wanted your family dead as much as I do. Malaka! You think you can play with me? I'll cut out your tongue! So disappointing. Letter to Alpinor. Oh, Phoebe. You led him right to me. Alpinor's looking for a woman. I wonder who he wants in his slimy grasp now. This is a ship manifest. Erpinor selling weapons to both Athens and Sparta. He wants this war to go on forever. I have met some treacherous people. None of them compare to Erpinor. I'm going to look under every rock, in every shadow, until I find and kill this vile serpent.
I won't be the one to die! Yeah.
sí, sí. Be watch. Not good. There's 
Get it out!
A miss the hostages. A discreet one at that.
Come on!
hope this oracle gives better news than the one in Sparta. The sanctuary of Nerfi. The gods themselves watch over this land. Well, aren't you a sight to my aged eyes? Young, energetic. Perhaps I should just pay for your body instead of your help. Watch yourself. That's not my line of work. Oh, forgive me. I'm amazed the gods would send me someone so well suited to help me, but who is also so appealing to me physically. I'm glad to hear it. Corrigos, my husband, is having some difficulties keeping up with my hunger for pleasure. I imagine any man would. Oh, I have many lovers, but he's my soulmate. When we're together, it's indescribable. Then don't describe it. When we were younger, we would run into the moonlit forest, shed our clothes, and pleasure each other until sunrise. Our howls of ecstasy would echo throughout the valleys. I hope I'm as feisty as you at your age. I'm feistier now than I've ever been. What does this have to do with me? I've learned of a powerful elixir, which if consumed will give someone the vigor and stamina of Eros. If you can gather me the ingredients, I can make it for my husband. All right, I'll find the ingredients, if you promise to keep your nocturnal activities to yourself. I have some drachmi, and Koragos has more. If you can bring me some bear scrotum and a deer tongue, I can make the elixir. Oh, is that all you need? Don't worry. I'll reward you well. I'm sure Koragos will be thankful also. Where can I find a bear near here? I heard there's a cave near the sanctuary that a large male bear has claimed. Are there any deer nearby? This is for keys. There's deer all over the place. This elixir sounds odd. Where did you learn about it? Why, the Pythia told me about it. She's so wise solving a problem I didn't even know I'd have. I'll be back with the ingredients soon. Remarkable. We're so close to the gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elpinon? We can talk later in private. Who's this? Just a simple pilgrim. He just saw the oracle. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well, is she? Is she left me with more questions than answers. That's the oracle for you. Well, it's just he seemed interested in legends. Like you. I, I thought you might get along. How did... did... You know my spear just by looking at it? You're more than some simple pilgrim. All things in Delphi are more than they appear. Even I. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. <laughs> that much is true. 
Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. You don't seem convinced the Pythia can be believed. What did she tell you? I asked her to show the path to the war's end. She said, spring should not wish for winter, as it brings death with it. Such wisdom! I don't understand a word of it, but that's why she's in there and we're out here. I know a threat when I hear one. <laughs> you were on Kefalonia for too long. This line is ridiculous. Are there always this many people to see the Pythia? These are more than just people. Every city sends a Fiori, or sacred ambassadors, to seek guidance on behalf of their people. The Pythia not only shapes the destinies of individuals, but of the entire Greek world. Imagine what power one would have if they controlled what came out of her mouth. Apollo controls this! Of course he does. Delphi is nothing like they say. Has it always been like this? No. This was once an open and welcoming place. But war changes things. People seek out the Pythia for more political reasons. Prophecies in times of war often stir violent emotions. It's wise to keep your blades sheathed. Drawing blood in Delphi is considered an insult to Apollo. Punishment is severe. I have my own questions for the Pythia. But this line... I'll be an old man by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest? <laughs> All right. But if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is he not every bit as great as I said? I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line? Enter into the light of Apollo, the light that illuminates shadow. Choose your question wisely, mortal, for you have but one. Speak, truth seeker! I'm looking for my father, my true father. Who is he? It's you! From the visions! The child on the mountain! How could you know that? You need to leave. Now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Oh, but I do. While in Kausos, you didn't cower in the face of the priest. A child and her family still live thanks to you. But... how? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the mountain. The cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. Cult of Cosmos? The Oracle has spoken! The prophecy is yours! You never answered my question! The Pythia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get answers! The 
Rotatos? You're still here. Where's Varnavas? He's gone back to your ship. You don't look happy with your prophecy. She... knew who I was. <laughs> She's the Pythia. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. What child hasn't stood on a mountain? I was thrown from that mountain. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you, she knew who I was, what I'd done. Tried to warn me. Warn you? About what? Never mind. It's nothing. There are people in Fokis who can't be trusted, Alexius. But I'm not one of them. If you know something, you must act quickly. The Pythia's words control all our fates. She mentioned the Cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? I'd heard whispers. A cult unlike any other coming to their feet. But I paid them no mind. The Pythia seemed afraid of them. Guards took her away. Took her away? Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia... This is devastating news. Do you understand what this means? Through her, the cult controls the world. I need to speak with her when she's not so well protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. You know more about the Pythia than I do. Where would she be? When she's not in the Temple of Apollo, she's at her home in the Hora of Delphi. I can't go breaking down every door until I find her. The Oracle's home is probably easy enough to spot. She'd be the only person in the Hora of Delphi who can afford to live in luxury. Where in the Hora of Delphi does the Pythia live? I've heard she lives on the outskirts of the village, but be warned, she will be guarded. Not everyone comes to see the Oracle with the best of intentions. I'll find where the Pythia lives. And I will get answers. Alexios, don't forget. Brute force is useless when finesse is required.
What are you doing here? This is sacred ground. You should not be here. Well, either leave or tell me what you want. Who are you? I mean no disrespect. Then answer my questions. Who are you? Some know me as the Eagle Bearer, but my friends call me Alexios. I am Daphne, leader of the Daughters of Artemis. And you are maybe exactly who I've been looking for. And who would that be? A warrior, a hunter, one who straddles our world and the gods, one who will meet my challenge. When you put it like that, how could I not accept? There's a boar not too far from here. Kill it, then bring me its pelt. You want me to kill a pig? This is no ordinary boar. Let's see if you are worthy of my challenge. Kill it, and bring me the pelt. I'll be waiting, with your reward. Hold up. What kind of elixir uses ingredients like this? Off we go now.
Yeah. Easy. Come on! Easy, so... Yeah. 